in case you guys are interested, uh, Lana Joy uh, next downstairs will be speaking about uh, bringing content to your blog and the Suicide Girls blog. If that interests anyone, maybe it might interest you. Uh, you already know who I am. Probably have no idea what I'm talking about. I'm just going to give you a heads up. I did not make the presentation. Yes. Too busy. So it was on the fly presentation. We're going to be, we're going to be, we're going to be talking about, well, I'm going to be talking about uh, social posting and posting on the go. So I'm going to set up a site, uh, probably a subdomain of WordCamp LA, set up a plugin that allows anyone in this room to email a photo, and we're going to have everyone emailing photos in by the end of this presentation. So, this is, yeah, don't, don't say anything crazy now.
getting creative because now that's done. But one thing I did in advance. What's the email address? It's yeah, what's the email address? <laughs> <laughs> Photos.
photo if it's a photo. As a default title, I actually usually remove it. The subject line becomes the title. So if you uh, supply a subject line, that becomes a new title. So I usually just leave that blank. And here you can you can choose in your your text type, plain, HTML. Uh, you can forward rejected email. Let's say it's one of the ones on the list that you want rejected, or or it's someone that's not on there. You can forward them or not. Uh, allow subject and mail. Allow HTML mail. Allow HTML and body mail. And <coughs> type a message to start and a message to end. I'm not really sure what that does. Uh, this is some advanced options. Uh, it'll wrap content and prefags. Uh, filtering. I mean, there's a bunch of options in here. You can replace breaks uh, with probably paragraphs. Uh, and it would return, the, let's say you want it to return the rejected mail, so you're getting obviously email spam, which no email address gets spam. <coughs> so, you know, you can just leave that or return it, depending on, on what you got going on. Because um, I Obviously, there's a bunch of options here. If you just want to, you know, if you're writing, if you're writing a post, let's say you uh, create a link, it'll, it'll automatically convert them to links, a URL to a link, and you have the option to turn it off or not. Uh, you have the option to use short codes for embedded video. Uh, I think that'd be if you have maybe another YouTube or a, just a video URL, something like that. I'm not sure what uh, compatibility it has with. Uh, other plugins that, that use video shortcodes. Uh, I haven't really looked into it that much. Um, let's see, we've got supported file types, uh, you know, banned file names. Let's say you don't want someone emailing in a, a text file or, or an Excel spreadsheet or, you know, whatever. Uh, this is a good one here. You have signatures in your, in your mail or you know that you're doing for Big site. I use this on one of my on one of my BuddyPress sites, and I have a bunch of signature patterns like dash, double dash, uh, sent from my iPhone, sent from my BlackBerry, sent from my whatever you know, like whatever you might see in, in a, some signature pattern. And then uh, a couple other options here. Go with image. And since we're going to be setting up an image, uh, it's not my baby. Promise here. The developer decided to include his baby, <coughs> so we get to look at him. Bye. <laughs> uh, this is for, for our images that we're going to test out right now. Uh, we wanted to, if you wanted to automatically insert the image into a gallery, so just use the gallery shortcode, you can choose this option. Uh, we're I'm not going to do that unless you're on a site that you know every single time you're going to be emailing in photos, you're going to be emailing in like three, four, or five more photos. Uh, uh, you can choose. Uh, I'm not sure I like this option. I wish I could turn it off, but you see it'll go. I guess you can't just say no. But, uh, it'll strip out the image and say it's in the middle or in the beginning, and it'll move it to the end and work with the text in the beginning. Uh, I mean, that's a good cool option. Uh, start image count at zero. Kind of strange, but I don't know what else. I don't know what that feature would be used for. <clears throat> and here he's using a. Uh, you can choose what your placeholder tag is in the PHP output. Uh, and here we're we're gonna. This is what the image is gonna look like when we when we when it finds an image in your email. It's gonna spit this out. <clears throat> it also gives you image uh, image templates, uh, and it'll obviously you can see here. That everything's changing and what it looks like. So no wrappers, the WordPress default, which is like your attachment ID and like WP attachment online that I think it actually uh, I've had to change it. I think it doesn't do it hundred percent correct, but it's missing something. <clears throat> I think because it was for an older version of WordPress, but it still works with the latest. Obviously I'm running uh, the latest multi-site. You know, thumbnail lap. Right now we're just gonna leave it as a as a default. And it also has an option to use a custom image field if it's available. Let's say you have a, a custom advanced field called image, it'll use that image instead of the attached one. <coughs> uh, right now, let's let's save this and we'll go to the rest of the options here in a minute. And that's that's uh, that's the sound. Someone sent in. <laughs> I know you guys are giggling back there for a reason. <laughs> so here, 
we got some people sent us some photos. Um, it says it's all by me. I thought it'd be like a say what you say anonymous, but it's a donkey. <laughs> so here you go. You can obviously it's working. Uh, it's running the script uh, every ten minutes. I think I have it set up, and. Uh, so I didn't put in there uh, the set for my iPad, but obviously you can see that it's not it's allowing for that one. If I was to copy this and paste this into this uh, removal message, the signature pattern sent from my iPad, and I say that anyone else has sent it from the iPad, it would strip that out. Here's my blog that this one goes live. This one. That was me. Who's playing with penguins? And Sorry. You just that right now? I had to meme generator. <laughs> I, I sent it twice. So it's going to be a, well, a non first first. Sorry. <laughs> so. <coughs> okay. So all I have to go in here, I'm going to edit this post now. Look, there's more that came in. Oh, yeah. Look, the mic's on now. Sweet. <laughs> you guys aren't first anymore. You can't call anymore. Sorry. Where's that one? Ha, <laughs> 
this. <coughs> Wave. Here we go. You guys are going on the site right now. We are live posting. Yeah. <laughs> you just have to wait for the Quran to reset though. <laughs> you can go you can go auto hit it. Yeah you can yeah. <laughs> Photos of 2010. Uh yeah. Oh, <laughs> my sites. Uh just it's just public photos and I just have it uh, public for people who just send photos and yeah, you can go back and, oh, no, it's going to create a new post. And then you have to go in later on if you want to add more content to it. So that's why you could send it in and then have it, you know, save it as a draft and then later on go in and, and then publicize it. Uh, it also handle attachments like PDFs or, 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 or any other, you know, documents or something like that. And it'll give you like a little icon. Pretty interesting document. It's really interesting. You should click on it. It only gives you half the spam. <laughs> <coughs> uh, yeah. Got a little help section. Uh, I've gone through like when I first downloaded it, it kind of gives you like <coughs> your basic templates for creating uh, your your photos for, for generating, uh, your caption with height, medium, large, <laughs> stuff like that. Any idea what might be causing the double posting going on the site? Um, oh, that's strange. Leave um, email after posting, yes. Check everything there. Maybe, that's strange. Yeah. I actually, I've never seen it do that, so I'm not sure why it's doing it unless it's checking it and then not deleting it properly and then checking again and then deleting it a second time. Mm -hmm. It could be getting overloaded. One, <laughs> process it's it's not like we're not in motion posting or anything. You know, you're sending so many photos today. <laughs> <laughs> Recent posts. So if you leave out a title, it obviously did not title it here. It just name hiding. I'm like, who's that guy? It's familiar.
flying back there? Does this help? Oh, uh, Wi Fi. <laughs> oh, all right. Can you do that on the chalkboard? <laughs> <laughs> Someone take a photo and send it to <laughs> send it to the site. That'd be awesome. What we need. There you go. So there you go. Now, why did that one embed but the other one made it link? Because uh, I changed the setting. No, no, if you go up. Higher, yeah. That made a link and it, it goes straight to a page where it automatically plays it. And that one embedded. Uh, different file type? Maybe. Maybe. Well, it's an MOV, so it should still. What is this one? What is that as well? It's MP4. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So okay. it's a link. So you can embed an MOV. Maybe, well, maybe if we went in here, let's say, uh, maybe you can add that in there. The end here. Is this a MOV? Yeah, it is. It's still set to the circle. No, it's right here. Simple. Yeah, this is a different template. This is for this one up here. Maybe. That's in a weird spot. This is a mounder. Yeah, I don't know why it's doing that there. Okay. Sorry, let's play that. So this one you have to download that, that plugin uh, for a short code. So it puts in that short code FLB. Arch. Yeah, I don't know why the MLB is MLBs don't work on the web that much. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, here you go. So captions you can add like so. So you just add the uh, image. Oh, so I think you add that to uh, to the uh, appended to your subject. You add in uh, extra parameters in the subject line, and the plugin will pull out those parameters of the subject and just keep the keep the title clean, and it'll like say caption or add tags to uh, to your post. But you can also add uh, just straight tags to your post by by typing in like when you're writing an email by just saying tag colon uh, and each tag with a semi uh, semi comma in between semi comma. Uh, uh, 
Uh, but there's, there are a bunch of options in here. Uh, just like you can add a subject, and that way, uh, just besides your default subject, which you set it at, which could be on categorized or photos, and let's say it's a video, uh, therefore you can add in additional subjects if you are uh, subjects or categories uh, attached to that. So let's, let's say it's in a multiple, category, uh, multiple categories. Let's see what else we got going on here. Let's see how many more videos. Now we gotta get some sharing ones on there and like send it to Shane, right? Uh, also, uh, within Posty, when you first set up, uh, there's this test parameter. You can test your configurations and it'll run a test script. Um, you know, you can find out what your current clock is at time and if you're, if you're off. Uh, and your mail tests and what your results are in case you're having issues setting up a video on the way you I think uh, I think that'll do it for our post fee setup. By all means continue to keep posting <laughs> all night.